Hi everyone, I am Stefanie van Asbroek, a PhD student working at the Alzheimer's Center Limburg, which is part of the University of Maastricht in the Netherlands. I am very excited to talk to you today about the results of our public awareness campaign on the topic of dementia risk reduction that we conducted together with the Flanders Center of Expertise on Dementia. 40%. I'm sure you're all well acquainted with this number, which is the proportion of dementia cases which are potentially preventable as estimated by Livingston and colleagues. And it goes without saying that you're therefore also very well aware that there are things one can do to minimize one's risk for dementia. However, does your neighbor know this too? Or your cousin? Maybe, yes, because you've talked about this topic with them. But does that random person you see in a supermarket know? The chances they do are actually quite low according to the systematic review of Cathayons and colleagues on dementia literacy in the general population, where almost half of individuals believed that dementia is a normal, non-preventable part of aging. This is not ideal since we do know that many people would like to receive more information about this topic. And this awareness may also result in an increased motivation for behavior change. That is one of many reasons why the Flemish Center for Expertise on Dementia decided to develop and roll out a mass media campaign, including newspaper and magazine articles, radio talks, social media messages, a campaign website, an online personal screening tool, and the distribution of campaign material in train stations, local markets, and pharmacies. More specifically, boxes were handed out, which were called Vaccine Against Dementia, and contained unsalted nuts along with an informative flyer. The aim was to increase awareness that dementia risk reduction is possible and improve knowledge of modifiable risk factors. The campaign focused on 12 potentially modifiable risk and protective factors, which make up the well-validated Libra Index. The campaign ran for about seven months from World Alzheimer's Day in 2018 till March of 2019. A pre-post study with two large independent samples of 40 to 75 year old individuals was conducted to assess the public's awareness before and after the campaign. We used statements like regular physical activity lowers your chances of getting dementia to assess knowledge of modifiable risk factors, as well as general awareness that dementia risk reduction is possible. The proportion of respondents aware of dementia risk reduction and each of the modifiable risk factors was compared before and after the campaign using chi-square tests. I briefly want to show you the population characteristics, which were very similar for both the pre and post campaign samples. Then moving on to our results, general awareness was very low with only 34% of individuals believing there are things one can do to reduce one's risk for dementia before the campaign. Awareness of modifiable risk and protective factors varied, but was generally also very low besides for cognitive and physical activity being protected. We were, however, thrilled to see that more people were aware of dementia risk reduction and many modifiable risk factors after the campaign period, with all differences being statistically significant, besides for the awareness that coronary heart disease and chronic kidney disease are risk factors for dementia. One important note to make, though, is that we did not see this kind of improvement in our low educated individuals, contrary to the individuals with an intermediate or high level of education. With this being said, I would like to finish with some concluding points. Firstly, awareness of dementia risk reduction was significantly higher after a mass media campaign. Not only that, we also saw a high level of action preparedness in our post-campaign sample, with 80% of them reporting they took action to live healthier during the past year. We do think special efforts should be made towards low educated individuals, as they form a highly vulnerable group that seems to benefit less from a traditional public health approach like the one we used. Still, there's a lot of room for improvement, especially when it comes to the cardiovascular risk factors for dementia. Thank you for your attention, and I'm looking forward to answering any questions you may have. The results of this study have also been published, so you can also have a look at the reference shown on the screen. And thanks again.